Hi again and welcome to the next video of the fourth section, Ammo Prefabs. In the previous video we learned how to create a player object. In this video we'll learn about Ammo Prefabs. When the player presses the fire button the spaceship should shoot ammo objects in the scene. These objects will be based on an ammo prefab. Let's create this prefab now. To start we'll configure the texture to be used as ammo graphic. Open the textures folder in the project panel and select the ammo texture. This texture features several different versions of the ammo sprite, aligned in a row side by side. When ammo is fired, we don't want to show the complete texture. Instead, we want to show either just one of the images or the images played as an animation sequence, frame by frame. Presently, Unity recognizes the texture and each ammo element as a complete unit. We can use the sprite editor, however, to separate each part. To do this, select the texture in the project and then from the object inspector, change the sprite mode dropdown from single to multiple. This signifies that more than one sprite is contained within the texture space. Click on the Apply button and then click on the Sprite Editor button from the Object Inspector. This opens the Sprite Editor, allowing you to separate each sprite. To do this, click and drag your mouse to select each sprite, making sure that the pivot is aligned to the object center. Then click on Apply to accept the changes. After accepting the changes in the Sprite Editor, Unity automatically cuts the relevant sprites into separate units, each of which can now be selected as separate objects in the project panel. Click on the right arrow at the side of the texture and all the sprites within will expand outwards. Now drag and drop one of the sprites from the project panel to the scene via the hierarchy panel. On doing this, it will be added as a sprite object. This represents the beginning of our ammo prefab. The sprite itself may not initially be oriented to face upward at the game camera. If so, rotate the sprite by 90 degrees until it looks correct. Now create a new empty game object in the scene. Game object, create empty from the application menu and rename it ammo. Make this new object a parent of ammo underscore sprite and ensure that its local forward vector is pointing in the direction that the ammo should travel. We'll soon reuse the mover script on the ammo to make it move. Drag and drop the mover.cs script from the project panel to the ammo parent object via the hierarchy panel in order to add it as a component. Then select the ammo object and from the object inspector change the ammo's max speed in the mover component to 7. Finally add a box collider to the object to approximate its volume. Component, physics, box collider from the application menu. And then test this all in the viewport by pressing play on the toolbar. The ammo shoot forward as though fired from a weapon. If it moves up or down incorrectly, then make sure that the parent object is rotated so that its blue forward vector really is pointing forward. Next, add a rigid body component to the ammo to make it part of the Unity physics system. To do this, select the ammo object and navigate to Component, Physics, Rigid Body from the application menu. Then, from the rigid body component in the inspector, disable the Use Gravity checkbox to prevent the ammo from falling to the ground during gameplay. For our purposes, gravity need not apply to the ammo as it should simply travel along and eventually be destroyed. This highlights an important point in the game development generally. Real-world physics need not apply to every object accurately. We only need enough physics to make objects appear correct to the player when they're looking. In addition to adding a mover script and physics components, we also need the ammo to behave distinctly. Specifically, it should damage the objects with which it collides, and it should also destroy or disable itself on collision. To achieve this, a new script file must be created, ammo.cs. The ammo class should be attached to the ammo prefab object and will be instantiated for all ammo objects created. Its main purpose is to damage any objects with which it collides. 
The on trigger enter function is invoked for the ammo when it enters a trigger attached to a movable unit, such as the player or enemies. Specifically, it retrieves the health component attached to the object, if it has one, and reduces its health by the damage amount. Notice that each ammo object will have a lifetime. This represents the amount of time in seconds for which the ammo should remain alive and active after it's fired and generated in the scene. After the lifetime expires, the ammo should either be destroyed entirely or deactivated. The invoke function is used to deactivate the ammo object after the lifetime interval. This happens during the on enable event. This is called automatically by Unity each time an object is activated. Now drag and drop the ammo script file from the script folder in the project panel to the ammo object. And then finally drag and drop the whole ammo object in the scene back to the project panel in the prefabs folder in order to create a new ammo prefab. Congratulations, you've now created an ammo prefab which can be spawned from weapon points to attack enemies directly. This is good, but we've still not handled the spawning process itself. And we'll address this next. Next, we'll learn about ammo spawning.